And now, our feature presentation. Toilets. People usually use them for their number ones and twos. As for destination nostalgia, we research them with passion of science, technology, and of course, brands. One of the best performers is Kohler, with many variations of bowls, tanks, seats, and other products for the comfort, efficiency, and convenience of your own bathroom. Residential areas usually have tank toilets, either two or one piece. Commercial ones, on the other hand, are flush armored based. Some may have tank versions too, while others can be pressurized. To be honest with you, I usually avoid toilets that are either too loud that I had to use earplugs, or too aggressive that it splashes everywhere. Commercial toilets are good examples for that, but not all of them are bad. This 1.6 gallon Kingston, for instance, is loud, but not too aggressive, and it flushes the correct amount. The same can be said with a 1.2 a gallon version, despite a short flush. This high cliff lead blows out fast, but thankfully it does not splash. The high cliff ultra has the best overall ball rinse performance for a commercial toilet. Finally, this Anglesey is rare. Normally, I am not a big fan of Amex sensors on the toilet. Sometimes they may not work well, or in other cases, scare people if too sensitive. Thankfully, that's not the case, and it flushes subtly. Most toilets like these nowadays consume 1.6 gallons of water or less per flush according to the conservation law. However, some other vintage toilets could still be around, but pretty rare to find. I will show you my top favorite tank version of toilets after this short break. At TMP Cyberlink Studios, Possibilities are endless. With inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises, we make speculations of intriguing slash family-friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. Behold, the San Rafael Water Guard. This one-piece low-boy toilet consumes 3.5 gallons per flush. Yes, it's quite hefty, but the flush is super quiet and satisfying with its royal swirls. It sounds like rich water pouring from its luxurious glass by the turn of the knob. <laughs> The next toilet is newer and more efficient than the last one. It's the two-piece Samron with its Revolution 360 flush technology. Two-piece Samron toilets are my personal favorites because not only they look practical and efficient, but the style 
of the bull, tank, and lever are quite attractive to my eyes. The trapway and gurgles of this particular sim run are not quite nostalgic, but the R360 flush creates an outstanding bull rinse performance and is still satisfying to watch and listen. It consumes 1.6 gallons of water or less per flush. <laughs> And finally, here's the first generation of the Semron. For this Semron, the trapway design and flush type are completely different. Nothing significant on the ball rinse performance, but it creates a forward plunge type of flush. It only consumes 1.6 gallons of water per flush. The flush handle is not in its best condition, but listen to this gurgle. <laughs> I find it extremely satisfying and cheesy. I wish I could find another first generation Samron like this, but in better lighting conditions and space to film. In addition, with a more rare water guard toilet, the Rochelle. A video link in the description will help you understand what I'm talking about. If you have any other questions or updates, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you, Nostalgia Seekers, for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time, as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia. <clears throat> Excuse me. much better.